You should push yourself beyond your limits of tolerance in your 20s to find out where it is. How much can you work? How disciplined can you become? Like, can you work 12 hours a day? Can you work eight hours a day? Can you work three hours a day? Like flat out, where's your limit? And how much, how much work can you do and how much socialization? You should find out. Push yourself past and then back off to, to that point where it's optimally sustainable. It's good to think about that as a goal. It's like you're trying to discover what your limitations are when you're, when you're in your 20s so that you can hit that edge so that you can sustain yourself across the decades. And you want to push yourself in every direction that you can, but you should be doing that with an aim in mind. It's like you're trying to make yourself into a better and more competent person. If you're a fucking savage and you get out there and you grind hard and you want it bad enough, you can run all these guys off. There are two ways to be successful. And I don't subscribe to the first one. That's just natural talent. I just don't believe people who are naturally talented are better than me. I believe effort. I'm saying that some of you in this room, you might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're going to have to get up. The longer you're going to have to stay up. I'm talking about concrete commitment. I'm talking about the commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. You don't want to go run? You go run. You don't want to go swim? You go swim. You don't want to make your bed? You make your bed. You don't want to clean your house? You clean your house. You don't want to study? You study. That's how you start to callous your mind to so that became my life. You got to go to bed with it. You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do got to pour into that dream. I understand it is in the process that you get better. It's in the process that don't nobody know your name and five years later, you're one of the best in the world. Why? The process. I don't get up at three o'clock in the morning because I'm broke. Then why do you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I ain't finished yet. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. I am not phenomenally skilled, but I'm phenomenally real. My IQ may never change, but my will changes every year. I get stronger and stronger and more determined. Why? Because it's in my DNA. When you dedicate your life, you don't care anything about the odds. When the dream is big enough, the odds don't matter. Work in silence. Sometimes you've got to disappear. Then come back and shock the world. Shock everybody that doubted you. You need to take a step back and ask yourself, why am I here? What is my purpose? You should be aiming for the top. If you fail, get up and do it again. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Life is full of pain. It's everywhere. The pain of defeat, the pain of being disappointed, the pain of losing, the pain of failure, the pain of being criticized, the pain of not being right, the pain, the pain, the pain, that's called life. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. You actually have to learn how to push yourself. You have to learn how to leverage the power of your decisions and you've got to learn how to take action when you don't feel like it. Stop waiting to feel like it. Stop waiting until you see it. Stop waiting for somebody to come and save you. Nobody's coming to rescue you. The prize goes to the hardest worker in the room. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else, and I'll keep working. When you get to the point where you do the work consistently, you invest in yourself consistently, you make sacrifices consistently when everybody else is slacking off, when everybody's partying, when everybody's making excuses, you will dominate every single person you're up against and your limits become non-existent. Dedication, dedication, dedication. That's the name of the game. 
If you keep going every single day and don't stop, your competition will fall off. These other people aren't cut like you. You're cut from a different claw. They take days off. They get tired. They get weak. They get lazy. But you, no. You don't allow that. You grind every day of your life, putting one foot in front of the other. You do that, and I promise you, you'll be lapping all of these people. I made a decision. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. Some of you in the room right now, you are where you are. You're giving 60% when you have 120 in you. Why? Because you've never made a decision. E.T., what do you do on the days that you don't feel like? Every day I feel like. Every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving my wife the best life. Every day I feel like driving in a nice car. Every day I feel like flying first class. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred. Every single day. Somebody said yesterday, E.T., you gave 120. What you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know. Give 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. You gotta get a little bit more intense about your life, about your business. You gotta stop being so dadgum casual. You gotta get in the game. If you're gonna play the game, let's play to win it. Let's play to max it out. Let's play to 10 exit. I want you shaking. I want you feeling it. I want your intensity level to go up because it's decisions we make that chase that best version of us every second, every day, that every day alters the direction of the course of our life. Keep up. Let's go. Come on. You supposed to be the man? I know you can be the man for a month. Keep up. We doing this 365. We doing the 365. Keep up. We got that dog. When you play, I need that dog. Don't expect front row seats if you're giving those lead effort. Everybody want to win. Everybody want to be on the winning team. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody wants a reward, but everybody don't have to want to work. We all got to work. I got to show up and show up 120. Every time when you make a commitment to do something, your success is predicated upon your commitment. You don't become successful just because you say it. You become successful when you commit yourself to it. You're going to have some hard times. There are going to be difficulties. If success was easy, everybody would do it. But whatever you have to do, commit yourself to do what you said you will do, and you will be successful. There's nothing wrong with the opportunity. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 